screwing off, really. Gunny, come here. See? He'll come to me and then just... Now he's eating freaking rocks. <laughs> Gunny, come here. Hey folks, welcome back to another episode of Adventures in Dog Training with the world famous American Standard Dog Training and American Overwatch Canine Services. So this here is Mr. Gunny, uh, between 10 and 11 month old German Shepherd. Might have a little bit of working line in there. Yes, just because of how wild he is. A um, lot of drive, a lot of drive, a lot of drive. And with that drive comes incredible, yes, ADD. I'm about to get him some Ritalin because that's how crazy this man is. Um, yes, and so let me better explain what the issue is with him. I'm gonna ignore him. I give him 15 seconds before he finds something better to do than hang out with me. So we'll see, you know, let me not make a prediction. It always comes back to haunt me, but this guy gets bored very easily. Once he's bored with you or he's had enough of you, which usually is three, five, 10 seconds at best, he takes off. His job, yes, I'm gonna pay him for that. His job is to stay on that, uh, but we'll walk over here in the grass and I'm gonna show you what we're dealing with with him and specifically the number one issue I have with him is not only the lack of engagement, um, but when you call him to you on a recall, he, he likes to do the flyby, the, the Top Gun flyby. He thinks he's Maverick and he just whew, flies by you and you call him again, he flies by you again. And what I want him to do is come to me center or come into a heel position and stop so that I can put a, you know, put a collar on him, make him sit down, something to that effect. So I don't wanna kill his speed coming to me. I like the speed, but he needs to stop on a dime. And we're gonna simulate that now without that touchpad, because that's why we're doing this today. Today, it's all about the touchpad, one of the uses you can use it for, yes. And that's gonna be to teach him that you must come to me and stop on, instead of a dime, this. We'll break him off of here, we'll kill the video for a second, and we'll start up over in the grass. There he goes. <laughs> so it took longer than 15 seconds, but he's, he's had enough with me, just screwing off, really. Find an old piece of food. There he goes, he's just on his own little mission. All right, so he's off screen. Let's just see how he does. Yes, that's great that he's coming to me. I didn't call him, but that's fine. I'm, I'm paying for engagement. But we'll walk over here, especially in the backyard, and you just see him drift off, loves to drift. I want the dog to be more like my shadow. This is the type of dog that wouldn't necessarily run away, but it's gonna follow his nose for miles and miles and miles and just do whatever. Just letting him do his thing so he can get a baseline. I am gonna correct for digging though because that's one of the issues he has. So if you hear a little beep beep sound, now he's eating freaking rocks. <laughs> just try to keep the camera on him. The boy just eating rocks over there, digging here. I mean, he gets bored really easily and then entertains himself in uh, destructive ways. Putting something else in his mouth again. So then even with a correction, he comes to me and then does the flyby. So let me show you now in the grass what that flyby action looks like. See, there he is on a mission again, destroying stuff. You know, and that's cool, he's being a dog, that's fine. But let's see what happens. I'm gonna call him to me. I want him to come to me and stay with me. But instead he's gonna shoot by me, very likely. Gunny, come here. He's proven everybody wrong today. But then again, he does that. Gunny, come here. See, he'll come to me and then just whew. He's not doing the big flybys, but he's definitely not actually coming to me. Gunny, come here. Now that's the best he's done. Yes, that I'll pay him for. But you can see it's just not this super crispy clean come up to me in a pretty sit or come into a heel position. Now mind you, I'm not steering them in like air traffic control and doing all kinds of fancy stuff. Uh, we can try that, but ultimately I need him to understand that. And I'll do it real quick with the food. Gunny, come here. Yes, that is a way to train it. Many, many reps of that. But now I'm gonna show you how we use the touch pad to kind of tighten up this flyby, goofy, Distraction BS, yes. And you can see it already paying dividends now. He wasn't doing this two days ago. All right, we are back. You just missed him. He was chasing this, chasing that, chasing the leaf, wind blows, chase it. So crazy, crazy prey drive. I need to channel all that energy into me, yours truly. 
All right, so this is what we're gonna do. A little bit of e-collar, touch. Yes, he needs probably a couple primers to get him going. That's why we're using a low level right now. Free. Good boy, buddy. And I'd also like to teach him. Just need that second paw up. Oh, good boy. I'm also trying to teach him a little bit of rotation. Just a touch. Good boy. See, now if he disengages, wants to sniff that, wants to sniff this, wants to leave my side, pressure comes back on. And we're making it very clear, you gotta be here. Eventually we'll clean this up and make it either more center or more in a heel position. Right now I'm just happy he's coming to it. But we're gonna start to shape all that behaviors now. Now he is allowed off, and that's if I touch his nose, free. He can go chase that. We should have a nice rep here. Gunny, come here. Good boy. And now we're gonna roll up. If he comes off, he's gonna feel it. If he stays with me, yes, amazing things are gonna happen. Yes, especially if he looks at me. Yes, I will pay him for staying with me, but I'm also waiting for that wind to blow, that leaf to, to blow, and for him to, to goof off. I actually want him to come off so I can let him know that that's a, not a great decision for him. He's doing good. Now I need to get more reps of, of the flybys because he's doing really good with this. Normally I would just wait him out and wait him out and wait him out, but that's gonna make for pretty boring TV. So instead, we're gonna free him again. Free. Gunny, come here. Yes. Kind of goofy timing with this e-collar. I wanna be using it ahead of the, of the, the recall. Wasn't a horrible rep though. Watch. Yes. And I might start to stim him just for looking away. Touch. Watch. Yes. A little confusion there as to what that is. We don't normally do watches from the front, but that's exactly what we're gonna do today. I'll put myself in a pretty position. Watch. Yes. I'm gonna go lower on the stem because that's something we're gonna charge up. So I usually come into training with an idea of what we're gonna work on, and then we shape it as we go, because I'm realizing now he's staying with me, but he's doing this, got the Stevie Wonder going. Yes. Good boy. Yes. So really low levels right now as we're teaching this to him. He's got a little background in it, but only in the heel position. Good boy. Yes, actually rolled up on that because of how long he looked away. There's a car backing out, he hears it, he sees it. Good. Yes, we've now gone up to somewhat of a touch of a corrective level, or at least annoying, we'll call it annoying um, because of this. So here we go, watch. Yes, good. Yes, good. So he's just riding that level right now. So we're gonna start to roll up. But he's already doing better. Staying with me. And then we're gonna, just to break up the monotony. Free. I'm gonna call him back to me again. Gunny, come here. Yes. See, that's the picture I want. Let's do a handful more of those. When I call him, come to me. Come to me and stop, free. Eventually you can put, to a SIT. Gunny, come here. Yes, stimmed him a little because he was taking this slow, arky path over. Yes, and now again, we're gonna combine the two. Come to me, come to touch, but stay looking at me, stay looking at me. In fact, I'm gonna show you why we're doing that. On this rep, free. He's gonna go get it, he's gonna come back. Gunny, come here, but watch his head movement. He's with me, but he's not with me. He's, yes, he's looking at pretty much anything but me. So now, free, we'll combine the two. He must come to me, he must look at me, he must stay with me. Gunny, come here. Good. 
Good. Yes. Good. Now even after I paid him, he likes to goof off. I'll let him finish eating and it's back to business. Good boy. Good boy. Yes, and I don't care that he took his paw off because he came into a sit on his own, which is ultimately what I want him to do. Now what we're gonna do is step away from that tool. In fact, I'm gonna go to a smaller one. How about that? Ready to go. <laughs> and now we have to make the game even a little harder. There he goes, goofing off. Gunny, come here. Yes, beautiful. We're gonna go from the small one to um, nothing at all but it's the same behavior I want. Come to me, stay in front of me, look at me. Good. Good. Good boy. Yes. Doing better already. We'll do one or two more of those and then we're gonna go without it. Free. Gunny, come here. Yes, look, he did it without the pad that time. Actually, I don't care that he didn't come on the pad. He came to me, that's the point. Look how that, using that tool has turned him in, into this focus that we want. Gunny, come here. Yes, one more and we're done. That's exactly what I want. Come to me, hang out with me. I'm not asking him to sit. He's choosing to do that on his own, but I'm not complaining. That's exactly what I want, actually. Gunny, come here. And now I'm gonna jackpot him, whatever I have left. That's how we do it. Very happy with that, getting a lot more focus and engagement from this ADD child, special needs little pup right here. Um, doing much better, man. If this dog, this is one of the most distracted dogs I've ever seen and he's coming along. We still got a few more weeks left with him, so uh, he'll be getting better and better and better. So hope you guys learned something. Um, it's probably a little more technical than you're used to. And again, we're not out here trying to show you a dog that already knows how to do something. We're trying to show you how we teach a dog something, which is different. That's what makes us great here uh, on our channel. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, and uh, post in the comments below if there's anything else you wanna see. And we will see you on the next video. Johnny, come on, boo-boo.